it's been a while, but today I just want to quickly talk about not being afraid to delete your code. In other words, not being afraid to kill your darlings. So having worked as a university teacher, often in programming labs, it's my understanding that people are often very, I, I shouldn't say afraid, but people are not very quick to delete their code. And I recognize myself in that behavior massively. In other words, early on in, in my very early programming days, whenever I had written a piece of code, I was very hesitant to deleting that piece of code because probably it took me a very long time to sort of figure out and craft all that code. And of course, when you get more advanced into programming and when you start to move into version control and things like this, when you have version control, it's, it's very unlikely that you'll be as afraid to delete code because you'll always have your older versions. And even before you're in version control, I would highly encourage you to actually keep versioning your programs. You can just duplicate the folder in which your code resides so that you can more confidently make a new change. But essentially my point is this, that deleting code is an extremely important part of learning to write better code for two reasons. One, because deleting your code allows you to refactor your code. In other words, if you get completely attached to your current code base and refuse to sort of change it because you've figured out the problem, well, how are you going to learn by refactoring? It's only by somehow deconstructing the code that you've already written that you can write new, better code. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, when you delete large chunks of your code, you have to somehow rewrite something that's very similar to what you already to what you had before and that rewriting of code is a very useful lesson repetition is the mother of all learning so what i'm saying is that even if you would delete a chunk of code and then rewrite it exactly the same way as you wrote it before i strongly believe that you'll actually understand the code more as you rewrite it the second time, right? Because you'll, because even if it's, it's almost sort of mechanical, you'll internalize the, the sort of idea about the program you're writing. In, in some sense, you can think about it, I usually think about it this way, like we build mental maps, like we build a mental architecture of the code, of our code base in our mind. So we sort of visualize it in our heads and then we execute that in terms of uh, typing it out on the keyboard, typing it into, into our code editor. And the more times you do that, the better you understand the architecture, the better you understand the sort of structure of this mental building. And as you do that more and more times, you'll, you'll have an easier time to, to, to identify potential refactorings because you'll think about the structure, you'll build up the structure in your head, and then you'll say, hmm, maybe this thing is actually quite strange. I should sort of do it this or this way instead of that and that way. Going back to this idea of being afraid of deleting code, I would ask myself the, this question, why am I afraid of deleting code? I would assume that a lot of times the reason is, the reason that we are afraid to delete code is that we are afraid that we can't, we, we are incapable of reproducing it again. In other words, incapable of rewriting this piece of code that we're deleting. But if that is the case, then I would actually see that as a warning signal. Think about it this way. If you're unable to reproduce the same code, I would think that that suggests that you have found, you've identified a very sloppy solution to the problem at hand. In other words, you haven't really internalized uh, the problem at hand. In other words, you've hacked up a solution, right? You've spent lots and lots of time bashing at the program, finding a solution that isn't understandable when you look at the solution again. Because when we find good solutions to problems, I like to think of it this way. I like to think that under every problem, there lies a beautiful abstraction. There lies a, a close to perfect abstraction. This is a topic for another discussion. And of course, even another discussion is whether you should always look for that perfect abstraction or whether you should stop at some point and just say that this is good enough. <clears throat> As you might guess, I'm of course of the opinion that there are indeed scenarios where you shouldn't look for the perfect, uh, perfect abstraction. But remember that in, in this talk now, we're talking about learning, right? We're not talking about programming when you're programming in a, in a scenario where you necessarily have to move fast and move with as low cost as possible. Here I'm just saying that in the early days of programming or when you're learning programming in general, it's very important that you do spend time eliminating code and then rewriting uh, that particular piece of code. Again, in search of some better abstraction. What we're talking about then is essentially refactoring. So it's kind of like that saying, you shouldn't practice until you know how to do it. You should practice until you don't know how to not do it. You should 
practice until it becomes intuitive. You should practice until it becomes sort of intrinsic part of you, where you internalize the information and the procedures. You internalize uh, the idea of the architecture. You internalize the, the steps that you take when you face problems of that, similar, uh, that are similar to the problem that you're facing right now. So rewriting is a very important part of learning how to write code. So the key message essentially is, do not be afraid to delete your code, even if you are afraid that you might not be able to rewrite it. If you are afraid that you might not be able to rewrite it, that is an excellent indicator of the fact that you actually should just delete the code and try to reproduce it. And if you're still afraid, you do exactly the same thing, right? For every time you do that, you'll be a little bit more faster in reproducing that piece of code. And hopefully, with every time, you'll reproduce it slightly, slightly better. And this is how we become really, really good programmers, in my humble opinion. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Remember to subscribe if you want more stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next one.